protesters denounced Ed Koch in a bitter demonstration over AIDS. New York, the AIDS plague has hit this town harder than any city in America. And Mayor Koch says his current budget has $335 million earmarked for the fight against AIDS. But the 2,500 people who hobbled rush hour traffic this morning say that's not nearly enough. Gabe Pressman was there when the demonstration took place, and he has a report. Gabe? Yes, Jack, it recalled the era of the 60s. Raw emotion on the picket line outside City Hall. Scores of people sitting down on the path of morning traffic, determined to get arrested. <laughs> An army of 2,500 protesters was mobilized by ACT UP, a coalition of gay groups. And their target was a man who's long expressed sympathy for their community, Mayor Edward Koch. The tone of the pickets today was bitter, accusatory, personal. Do you think that politically uh, Koch uh, is in trouble with the uh, gay community? I, I think that's obvious, but maybe this will prove that it extends far beyond the gay community. That's the point. It began shortly after 7 o'clock this morning, as by the hundreds, the demonstrators organized in advance into teams joined forces on Park Row on the east side of City Hall. In the faces of the crowd, passions in the age of AIDS, when the battle is waged over life and death. There was a kind of symbiotic relationship between picketers and police. The protesters rushing into the street in well-organized waves and the cops under careful supervision, sweeping them away, dragging them to paddy wagons. The arrested resisting by not cooperating and even as the police carried them off. I've got to come to City Hall and state my case. We're dying. The city is dying. What do you think you're accomplishing by this arrest? We're letting Koch know that we're not going to tolerate his killing New York City. Traffic was halted in all directions at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge several times, taxing some people's sympathies. I'm going to be late for work, uh, you know. But, uh, well, I think they, they have the right to, to protest. What are your thoughts about this? I, think I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I'm, I'm a lab tech. I take care of AIDS patients, so they should let me pass and go do my work. Some demonstrators climbed into cardboard boxes to illustrate the lack of beds for homeless people with AIDS. The demonstrators were also protesting what they called the imminent collapse of the health care system. There's no housing for people with AIDS. There's no services. There's no hospital beds. Why? Take a look at San Francisco. Ed Koch hasn't done half of what they've done. We're in a much worse state here. AIDS has exacerbated the medical emergency. Uh, if you don't spend the money now, you've got to spend 100 times as much in the future. One speaker read a poem from someone he said was already dead. We're sick, getting tired of Koch messing around, so we're going to act up till we bring him down. The police department said 200 people had been arrested. Mayor Koch put out a long statement saying he understood the demonstrators' anger, that though they attacked him, in the mayor's words, I bear them no grudge. Koch demanded that Washington provide more housing, reimbursement for long-term care, and anti-discrimination legislation. Meanwhile, the Partnership for the Homeless estimated today that 8 to 11,000 homeless people also have AIDS. Jack, Sue. Thanks, Gabe.